Are you ready for the greatest alt run known to mankind, guys? I don't think you're ready. Why? This, <laughs> guys, this is absolutely ridiculous. What's happening? We live like I don't know in some in, in some type of um dream, guys. Right? I never thought this would, it would come to this. So Elon Musk literally tweets out, "Department of Government Efficiency." Okay, so that basically means this, guys. Uh, Donald Trump says Musk could head uh, could head government efficiency force. Right, but then if you go down here, it's basically a um, task force to conduct a complete financial and performance audit of the entire federal government, guys, and make recommendations for drastic reforms. But guess what? This picture literally shows what, what guys, which coin, right? Doge, Doge coin. Isn't that the craziest thing, guys? Right? Like, what's even happening? An altcoin. He's literally um, a maxi of an altcoin, guys, right? More so a meme coin. Think about that. That literally is the heart of old season, isn't it, itself, right? Now, remember, for we basically now need him to win, guys. We basically need him to win, right? He's still winning for, for the um, poly market predictions, right? 50% versus 48%, guys. Um, he's being favored right now, Donald Pump. But we need him, right, Pump and... Uh, Elon Musk to come into play, guys, because he's literally an altcoin maxi, right? You just can't. Make... And then who is he, guys? A Bitcoin maxi, right? He loves Bitcoin supposedly. Changes his tune randomly. What's crazier is Elon Musk literally um, gets this video from Doge Designer, guys. His name is literally Doge Designer, by the way. Okay, year 2030, starships taking humans from Earth to Mars, right? This is all pertaining towards what exactly? All season, guys. I think um, things are about to go parabolic. Hopefully, right now. Why is this fascinating, guys? Because this is a Dogecoin chart. I don't own any Dogecoin, but remember, if these coins do run suddenly and fly, your other coins will as well. XRP rose during this period of time, right? Probably this period of time as well, right? But check this out. During the, uh, uh, during those pump moments, guys, consolidation dump, right? Or stable dump becoming stable guys what's the next dump again right which shows all season is imminent and that is exactly why i'm not selling guys from ash crypto breaking if you don't panic sell every time the market dumps 10 percent you'll become you, you'll become a millionaire in the next bull market of 2024 uh, 2025 right exactly we're so close guys don't screw this up right just don't now it's riskier to not be exposed to the market than it is to be exposed to it. Why? Crypto is highly asymmetrical, guys. Sure, your portfolio could go down another 50% or more, but the upside is literally 10 to 20x plus. There aren't many other industries where this is possible, let alone realistic. If we fail, we fail, but the risk is far too great not to play the game exactly, right? Um, and I don't know why people are still bearish right now when this much money still has to come into the markets. How much you may say? Well, 6.3 trillion, guys. Exactly. Money market fund fund assets. And it's now at um, at their highest levels of, in history with $6.3 trillion on, on the sidelines, guys, right? Waiting to be entered into the markets. Think about that. All we really need is a small percentage of this money flowing into cryptos, guys. And guess what will happen to our coins? Right? Yeah, coins will 100 to 1,000 X, guys. Now, the thing to me is the period, right? When will this money start entering is the real question to me. Here in Q4 or later in 2025. I'm hoping very soon. Now, how is it? How is this split, guys? Retail has uh, 2.5 trillion. Institutional is 3.7 trillion. Most of the institutional money likely won't make its way into markets, but there are 2.5 trillion dollars in money market funds from people like you and I that are choosing to get 5% risk-free instead of investing that money in the markets, guys. But guess what? The Federal Reserve is supposed to start cutting rates. What does that mean? Well, perhaps uh, people are going to start flowing uh, a little bit of their money into. Uh, risk on assets not to mention this is why i'm not worried about a uh, toxic recession right there's so much money sidelined guys interesting as well mm. so what do you guys think about this guys right so this is why i know right perhaps you're going to fool everyone guys and have to pump markets first before the recession actually enters later on right uh, end of q4 or something guys right yeah, end of this year 
That's what I would do, wouldn't you? If you were an insider to lure everyone, you would pump it, right? Then everyone buys the top, exactly. They know, right? They literally probably know 100%, guys. They, these people uh, who control markets, a thousand percent have hired uh, certain people that knows about human emotions, right? The nature of psychology and these things, guys, right? To trick you and I. But I'm not getting tricked because I have no emotions. Only one, uh, only one ETF, ETF bought Ethereum yesterday, guys. It was BlackRock, right? So, out of all these other institutions that possibly sold, right? Only one bought the Ethereum ETF yesterday. It was BlackRock. That's insanity, isn't it, guys? Right? So not only are they um, gobbling up Bitcoin ETFs, guys, right, or, or Bitcoin in itself, but as well as Ethereum. What does that mean, guys? They're bullish on altcoins. You you heard it here first. BlackRock, right? Who's who literally or one interesting player, right? Puppet within the system, uh, or one major one, guys. Major puppet is um, interested in Ethereum. Think about that. Probably they know what's upcoming next. Not to mention 50 million UCC minted that UCC treasury, another 50 million, 50 million, and 50 million recently as well, guys, right in the past couple days. Now, I quickly wanted to talk about Bitcoin, guys, because right now we're not dumping, right? Um, what's fascinating is we did actually call the top, guys, right? I was, I was, I, was, I literally, I'm gonna show you guys on the next video, I mean, on tomorrow's video, guys, that. I believe that was a top, right? This was from a while back ago, but I don't know. I guess they're not going to go for the, um, the lows, right? I guess I guess not. I guess they may just pump it. I don't know. But if but, but I'm not going to rush into anything, guys. Right? I'm already set. If they make it fly, then just make it fly. But but if they don't, and if they wanted to pull it back down, I'm going to buy, right? And if and if they just make it fly, then we're good to go, right? Super simple, super easy. Now the first. Uh, spot Ethereum ETF in Australia, guys, coming soon, right? So this is very beautiful because we need as many um, avenues to open up, right? We need as many pathways to release floodgates. Now, Monochrome has uh, lodged an application to quote the uh, Monochrome Ethereum ETF under the ticker IETH, uh, guys. Unseeable Australia offering retail uh, investors regulated access to Ethereum, right? Or pathways to buy ETH ETFs, which is just uh, very spl um, splendid, guys. Now, when we look towards the charts, though, right? Not only uh, the external news of all season, guys, but when we when we look towards the charts, such as um, the king of all altcoins right now, and that is Ethereum. Ethereum ready for a, for a liftoff. Historically, when the RSI is in or near oversold territory on the three-day chart. Ethereum sees either a rally or a short-term pump. Either way, an upward move seems just around the corner, guys. Right. So basically, interesting. Look at the um. This is the oversold territory, guys. Right. And this is um the RSI indicator, right. So when it's oversold or near this to, uh, uh, near the spot, guys. Right. What happened each time? I mean, that's getting there. Either a rally happened or uh, short-term pumps happened, even in bear markets, right? Rallies in bull markets, right? But bear traps or bearish rallies in bear markets, guys, right? Very fascinating indeed. Interesting. If, we're, if we are in the bull market, this is what comes up next, right? A rally like that, guys. Wow. So we're most definitely near... Um, I'm definitely not selling right now. If I do, then I'm not I'm not in it to win it. Now check this other chart, guys. Right, the indicators are quite the met I mean, this is the volume, guys, right down here. And basically what this shows is that Ethereum when you do real work with volume, I told you we have seen this before, right? So when the volume went sideways like that, guys, right, Ethereum went sideways. But the but when the volume started spiking and exploding, Look what happened to Ethereum, right? The volume went sideways. Ethereum, I guess, kind of went sideways as well and pumped, guys, right? Um, but more so just to see sideways, right? Over here was sideways as well, guys, with a 307% pump, 384% pump, sideways. Next up, 
spikes will probably enter Gaza, right? Which would mean that Gaza, um, and, and, and huge amounts, because in the last bull run for Ethereum went from during during um the bull the the bullish um volume Gaza, it literally went from like two hundred dollars to like five k. <laughs> what? Exactly. So even if we do a ten x from here, guys, that's what. That's a tw that's tw twenty two thousand dollars, by the way, right? So so what was the x amount on here? It's twenty something k, right? So it's clear as day, guys, that I don't think we're at the top right now, right? Um, if we are, then the world is gonna end soon. Coins kit comes out. TikTok, the moment of truth is here for Ethereum. So this was back literally posted on. Uh, May 12th, uh, 2024, guys, right? This type of pattern, LEA wave, and it seems like we reached that point right now, right? The next target is literally, wow, like $8,000 Ethereum, guys, right? Now, my question is, can Ethereum go like this, though, right? That would be like 7K, my target, right? Before the recession strikes, goes all the way back down, guys, and then back up, right? 2026, extremely higher. Ethereum is in a three-year lo uh, long triangle pattern on the daily time frame. Really? Wow. Oh, look at that. The target is, <laughs> guys, the target is literally 20K. We just calculated right here, right? Divide this run by two, it takes uh, Ethereum to like 22K. And another pattern literally confirmed that idea that this is a triangular type of pattern, right? What does that mean? Confluence around 20-something K. For Ethereum, maybe the top of the cycle. Imagine that price, guys. You know what's going to happen with uh, other altcoins? XRP has to go demonic, and all the other S coins and meme coins will definitely go 100 to 1000 X, if not more, 10,000 X, depending on market cap and all different uh, sort of uh, metrics and stuff like that, guys. Right? So let's see what happens next. I'm excited to see what comes up, guys. This is a financial advice. What is that? So, face amazing. See ya.